middle-aged, about 35-year-old male uh, wearing his right shoulder. Uh, this is the glenohumeral joint. So looking straight on, that's the humeral head. And this is the glenoid. If we flip our eyes to look inferiorly, uh, that's the wave sign, the inferior glenohumeral ligament. And then there's the inferior labrum right there. As we come around the back, you can see the posterior labrum. And then we're getting up here into the superior labrum. So this is where the pathology is in this patient. So this is a superior labral tear, anterior to posterior, also known as a slap tear of the shoulder. This is right where the long head of biceps, which you can see right here, attaches to the superior labrum. Um, and this is what a type two slap tear looks like. You can see this labrum should be secured to the superior glenoid rim here. Uh, you can see all the frayed tissue. So in this patient, we're gonna perform a biceps tenodesis. The first step in this process is snipping the long head of biceps tendon. So you can see my arthroscopic scissors coming through here. And we're slowly going to cut the long head of biceps. And there you can see it's released. So now you can perfectly see the superior labrum here and all this fraying. We'll clean this up and then we're going to reattach his long head of biceps tendon uh, and that's called a biceps tenodesis. But this is a type 2 slap tear of the shoulder. So here's our 3.5 millimeter shaver coming into the joint here um, and we're just cleaning up this frayed tissue here to make it look good. And this is our radio frequency ablator here. And this just fires a current here into these frayed edges just to touch it up and round it off and make sure there's no edge that might propagate or cause him any sort of pain. And that's the gold standard treatment here of a slap tear. That looks good.